Hey guys, it's Rebecca Verstadt, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a very colorful look with a palette my friend Jason just brought me. Um, I do have the original version, which is this one. This is the Take Me Back to Brazil. This is the uh, Rio edition. I didn't realize this was an all shimmer palette, but because of the coloring on my dress, I'm going to try and do a look um, with the same shades that are on my dress. I do want to show you the inside of this palette is beautiful. And then I'm going to open this one up and I'll show you the comparison. Now, the first palette has matte and shimmer shades in it. So there's the first one. And then there's the, the Rio edition. And the bottom shades on here, minus the black, are shimmer as well. So these, um, looking at them, it's basically like similar shades from one palette to the other. Only thing is, is that the Rio Edition palette, like I said, is like all shimmer shades. So I want to, I want to use like a couple of the pinks on one eye. I want to do like a variation between pink, darker pink, and like the purple because the one feather I have has like blues, purples, and yellows in it. I've also got some green on it. I also want to use like these rows here with the yellows and the greens and then do blue at the very end. So, um, the only colors I don't plan on using are mainly this row here that is like yellow and orange. So I'm going to be using the majority of this palette. Um, and I'll let you know, like, I'll show you what shades I'm dipping into before I get started and then we'll play with the rest of my makeup. And it's kind of funny. I got these ears recently at, um, it's actually a headband. I picked it up at Walmart and it has the colors from the dress in it. Mine is this like orangey shade and yellow because the yellow in the dress is more green yellow. So. Anyways, if you're interested to see what look I create or looks I create with this palette uh, to match the dress I'm wearing, then keep on watching because that's what I'm doing today. All right, so I'm planning on using mostly this brush. This is a BH105, and then I have my JCAT brush cleaner here. I do have a white towel. I have a towel on my lap uh, because this dress is white. Um, this is the first actual time I've worn it since I bought it. I picked this up on Amazon. I will leave it linked down below, and it does come in a variety of sizes. Um, I would recommend sizing up. I got a medium. Normally, I'm a small or a small to medium, but I got a medium, and it pulls um, here on me, and it pulls across my chest. So, and you have to shimmy and shake and jump and cuss to get in the dress. So depending on how big your hips are <laughs> uh, and your derriere, depends on how much trouble you'll have. And there's a zipper in the back that goes all the way from the nape of my neck all the way down to uh, my coccyx. Um, but I have 40 inch hips and so um, I had to fight to get in. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in and get started on the look. I'm gonna start off with the yellow and green and blue and then we'll, we'll do the other eye and then I'll do face makeup dipping into this yellow and then going into like this green next to it is what I plan on doing. And the only thing on my face is skincare. I got a shower about an hour ago. I think I'm going to dip into this green first and then go into this one because I want that like yellowish green to go into the green. And then I think I'm going to go into this blue here, which is the um, like more purpley blue. I'm going to stick that out here. I just picked up a little bit more of that green to kind 
kind of blend the two together. All right, so there's one. Now for the pink look. I'm going to start off with probably this pink here and then move to this one, then this one. And then I'm gonna probably go in with this darker of the two purples. So, wish me luck. Actually, I'm starting with this pink here. It's the very bottom one in the first row. And then going into the next one, which is the second row, first shade. Doesn't look too much darker. There is a hint of a color difference though, but not as much as I was expecting. You know what, I think I'm gonna use this pink up here and then go into this purple. Oh yeah, it's not bad time. He's in the tub. And yes, you heard me correctly, I got a shower about an hour ago, which means the tub is wet and he's laying in. Okay, I'm gonna leave this as it is right now. I'm gonna come closer so you guys can see what we've got. And then let me do my face and I will be back in a minute, uh, well, in a second for you guys to do the lower lash line. And I think what I might do is take these colors and put them under here and these colors and put them under here and just kinda get the looks to look cohesive by switching how I apply them. So I will be back in just a second. All right, I'm back with my face done. Now to go back in, I'm going back into that first shade and I'll show you, it's, I went here and then here and then here and then to here. So I plan on doing that under here, here, you know, here, here. It's a whole lot of description. And I use the ColourPop punch liner. I think it's just punch. Are you punch? Yeah, punch. It's like a, orangey yellow in my waterline and boy does my eyes look super weird. So we're gonna start off here with that first yellow. And yes, I will be doing something up above. And then into the first green. And then into the second green. I'm getting product in my lashes. If you ever see me like run a brush like, like this, I'm trying to get product out of my lashes. And because my lashes are long, I can do that. And then into the blue. So I'm gonna have to tie it in because of the way my eye is shaped, it looks funny. That's a little better. All right, now into this pink, and then I'm gonna go down into this pink. That's the first pink of the second row.
and then into the last row into this pink and then the next to the bottom purple. Now, I'm not quite sure which one of these I want to use, but I want to, I'm going to swatch both of these bottom shades because they look super glittery, but it could just be an overspray. Okay, one is more green, whereas the other one is more like yellow. And it's more like a yellowy peach. So, like my same little brush, I've basically done an eye look with, the whole, with one brush. Going into this one here, which is the more green one, And I'm going to highlight the whole top of this. We're just, we're just going to go all out. We'll go all the way down to the edge. Almost looks like a damn Mardi Gras look. I've never been to Mardi Gras, so I wouldn't... Oh, I can't even see what the hell I'm doing. My bad. I sat up straight. I'm like scrunched down to do this part. And then I'm just going to put this over whatever color is on the inner corner on both eyes. Now for mascara benefit bad gal bang. It looks like I have like nothing underneath this first part looking in the monitor. <laughs> okay, now that that is done, let me zoom you out a little bit. You can see the rest of the face. Uh, highlight is a combination. I used my ABH um, Aurora palette and then this Estate Cosmetics in Pearl. I did Nomad for my bronzer and the BH Cosmetics palette for my blush. Lips is a combo of the Makeup Revolution and Vice. And then I noticed that the center of my lip had like no color to it at all. So I used the butter lipstick on the very center, top and bottom, and then went over it with Make Beauty. And so that's the rest of my face. Um, first time using this palette. I will put some shoes on and go outside and show you like the whole outfit and everything. And I know this isn't for everybody. Like I said, it kind of looks more like a Mardi Gras look uh, with what I did, which again, it's, it's fine with me. Um, I'm the one wearing it and I think I need to go to Walmart anyway. So um, I will probably just stay. Uh, it's like 4.30 in the afternoon now. Um, I'll probably just stay in this outfit and then wear this to Walmart with the makeup and everything. So I'll probably end up going grocery shopping tonight. The only difference is the shoes that I'm going to put on now to show you the look or what I bought to go with the dress. Um, but I probably won't go to Walmart in them because uh, I have like things that weigh over 40 pounds that I have to put in a buggy and trying to do those in like girly shoes ain't going to happen. Uh, so it'll be my Birkenstocks for Walmart. Uh, but anyways, this is the finished look. My first impressions of the, of the Rio palette. So because I'm tall and my tripod only goes to like three and a half feet, I'm going to have to go that way in order for you to see everything. very sheer, like sheer.
makeup outside. And then I think there's some sun filtering for over here so you guys can see the makeup outside. Probably film another another video with this makeup on. The wind blew my tripod over. It's very windy out here, but hopefully you guys got an idea of what my makeup and everything looks like. I did the makeup to match the dress. Um, whoop, tripod's gonna fall again. This dress has really pretty, it has like a hot pink, a green, like a greenish yellow, a blue. It's got some purple in it. So I did the look to match. So that's why it looks the way it does. But anyways, I will see you guys later. This is me in direct sunlight. That way you can, I, I like to do it in direct sunlight so you guys can legitimately see the colors that I used. And this is the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil Rio Edition palette. This is the first time I've used it in the first, first looks I've done. So I would say a huge thank you to my friend Jason or at Gamer Dad uh, for gifting me the palette. He sent it to me. So I will see you guys later, bye. I honestly didn't know it was all shimmers. I had no idea it was all shimmer shades. There's not one matte in that palette. So I was shocked when I got it and the palette itself, like the very first one, it has like this silver, you can see the silver inlaid on the palette. On this one where um, you've got like the gold, the next thing up is like it's raised and you can actually feel the glitter on it on the outside of the palette and even over here. But when you open the palette, even like what's on the mirror here and what's on the palette, you can feel the raised glitter on, even over here on this side, you can feel the raised glitter. So I thought that was unique that um, I didn't realize that, you know, cause this palette is, is flat. It's not, um, none of this is like raised or anything. So they did take the packaging up a little bit and the glitter has not like, it doesn't like come off when I rub it. So that's a plus because I love glitter, but I don't want to be wearing it freaking everywhere unless I put it freaking everywhere and then, you know, that's okay. Um, I use, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sh nine shades out of here is what I used and there are 35. So, um, you know, I like how this turned out. The, for being all shimmer shades, they were actually really pigmented. I was surprised with the pigmentation and the opacity of them. Even with this like light yellow shade, I was surprised that it actually showed up as well as it did. Because I know that the like yellow shade in here, this one here, which would be comparable to the one I used, um, it's very sheer on my skin. So I was very pleasantly surprised to see that it wasn't like that. So first impressions, I like it. Uh, do I wish there was some matte shades? I sure do. Um, but. I also want the Aviza palette that's on my list to get, but it's not been on sale yet. So when it goes on sale, it will be on my list to pick up along with the Libra and Scorpio palette whenever those go on sale. Um, I'm not going to buy them at full price because I've not bought any of them at full price. So I guess you could call me cheap. Anyways, even if you wouldn't wear this look, I don't give a shit. I'm wearing it. It's on my face. It matches my pretty dress and um, I will include a clip here of me outside in the dress so you can see the full dress and I do have leggings on underneath this um, dress because the dress is very sheer and I couldn't find my white shorts so I'm not showing the world my un underwear so anyways I will see you guys in another video very soon hopefully you all have a fantastic day or night wherever you are and feel free to leave me a comment down below do you think the colors match 
the feathers on the dress. I liked the dress because it had feathers. And um, like I said, if you do want to look this dress up, I will link it. I bought it on Amazon. I bought the shoes on Amazon. I'll link those too. Um, the dress is a size medium and I'm like a size six to eight in women's sizing. So um, just know that usually most dresses I buy a size small, but this one I bought a size medium and it's a little tight here and, and it's tight across my chest. It's actually compressing my chest a little bit, but the fit everywhere else is fine. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you size up on the dress. It did come from, I'm sure, China. Uh, and it's a really like thin material. And so um, I did look for like crinoline or something to put underneath of it or a slip that had some volume. And all the ones that I found cost like $20 more than the dress cost. So I didn't buy them. I just figured I'd wear shorts underneath of it. Anyways, I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.